Liverpool may have underachieved in recent years, but they've made a picture-perfect start to the new campaign. Three wins from three marks the Reds' best opening to a season since 1994. It also underlines the top four credentials of Brendan Rodgers' side. The goal-scoring form of Daniel Sturridge is a graphic illustration of the team's new confidence. With those match-winning performances, the striker claimed the Barclays Player of the Month award for August. Injury ruled Sturridge out of international duty, but Rodgers, who picked up this month's managerial accolade, expects his star man to be fit for Monday night's trip to Swansea. Danny can prove to be one of the top strikers in Europe over the next three years. Now he really has all the tools and, and all the characteristics to be a top player. He's, he's obviously started the season very, very well, but his goals to games record since he's come into here has been exceptional. He's got uh, a good chance to play against Swansea. If the game was on the Saturday, it may have been difficult, but, uh, but he's coming along well. He just had a slight grade one uh, strain on his, on his thigh, but, uh, but the medical team, have, and along with himself, have been working very hard and, and we'd expect him to be fit. It's just over a year since Rodgers left the Liberty for Anfield and he's now making his mark as Liverpool boss. After overseeing the Merseysiders' worst start to a Premier League campaign this time last year, the former Swansea manager's proved himself capable of withstanding pressure and growing into the role. His side have lost just three times in 2013. The deadline day acquisitions, Ali Sizoko, Thiago Ilori, Mamadou Sako and Victor Moses have helped build the squad into a unit that better suits Rodgers' philosophy. When we sat down as a group and reflected at the end of last season, I felt it was, and along with my staff, we felt it was going to be important that we could get winners into the building, one players that were going to be hungry, players that had the belief, obviously, as well as players that were going to be technically suited to the profile of the player that we would want in order to play how we want to play. So I think we've done that. Michael Laudrup, the man who followed Rodgers at Swansea, has an altogether different challenge ahead of him. Europa League involvement has seen his side take part in seven competitive games already. The victory over West Brom eased the pressure following back-to-back -back league defeats. A fine line will need to be drawn if success in Europe doesn't take its toll on the team's performances in domestic competitions. So far, though, his predecessor has nothing but praise for his replacement. Michael's done really well since he's went in. There was obviously, uh, you know, the, the team had gone in and, and what was important for them was to continue with the, with the confidence that they'd had. Michael's brought in some terrific players. Uh, and the club has continued to, to flourish. Liverpool head to Swansea is the only side left in the division with a 100% record. If that's to continue, Rodgers must engineer his club's first victory at the Liberty. His return to South Wales in the corresponding fixture last season ended in a stalemate. To go one better, the manager will need to draw on all his knowledge, not just of his refashioned Liverpool, but of the Welsh club that he led to England's top flight. When he was in charge at Swansea, Rodgers masterminded an impressive victory over the Reds. This time, his focus is a win for the visitors to keep Liverpool at the top of the table.